Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Sonia. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can extract and analyze strings present in a malware sample. If you want a quick introduction to the importance of the strings present within a file or an executable, take a look at this article in our library. The description box below contains the link to it. Now, I will tell demonstrate how extracting strings from a malware sample provides us with clues about its behavior. We will use the strings executable downloaded from Microsoft's website. These are the two samples we will work with. This is the list of strings present within sample one. It would be easier to work with this long list if we had it in a separate file. We will recover the strings from sample one and store it within a text file. To retrieve the strings with the offsets, we will use the O switch. I have opened the two files in a text editor. This file contains just the strings. This file contains the decimal offset at which a particular string can be found within the executable. Now, let's search through this list for interesting items. We can see the names of sections within this executable. It is quite common to see a large number of unreadable strings. We can see the name of an executable, the word keylogger, the words host and port, which are typically associated with network activity, and some other interesting keywords. Are we looking at a keylogger? Within the output of strings, we can also find the names of imported functions. It looks like this sample imports functions capable of modifying the registry. We can find keywords indicating network activity. Here, we can find some names which appear to extract information about the computer on which this executable is running. We can see a command string. Here, we can see the name of a domain. Based on all the strings we observed, it looks like this sample collects information about the system it is running on, may modify the registry, performs key logging activities, and establishes network connectivity. We have also found an unusual domain name. Let's perform some quick research on this domain. It looks like the same we are dealing with is a remote access Trojan with key logging capabilities. When the sample was uploaded to VirusTotal, we can see that many security vendors have flagged this sample as malicious. Consider this string. It looks like the delete command has been issued. What may have undergone deletion? We can only see one quote here. For this, let's take a look at the extracted strings with their offset. This is the location in the executable where this string can be found. I will copy it. I have opened the executable in a hexadecimal editor. We can view the hexadecimal representation of the file in the center pane and the interpreted human readable ASCII strings on the right pane. We will locate the command string using its offset. Using Control plus G keystroke, we will get this menu. We want to go to this particular decimal offset. Here, we can view the command string. Following the quote, we can see an ASCII value here. This can be investigated further. In some cases, you may find something interesting in the hex editor. Results from the string's command can help you locate the exact offset that you can navigate to in the hex editor and examine. Next, let's take a look at the strings present within this sample. 
I have already extracted the strings into this text file. We can find the names of sections and some unreadable strings. These two strings indicate that we could be dealing with a software that performs data recovery. Here, we can see a command to quietly delete the volume shadow copies. Why would data recovery software delete shadow copies? We can see the name of a particular ransomware. Then the keyword, encryption key. We can see that some functions have been imported, capable of performing cryptographic operations, clearing the event log, and modifying the registry. Here, we can see a ransom note. This could be a sample posing as data recovery software, but is actually a ransomware sample that encrypts files. Let's view information about the sample in VirusTotal. This confirms our findings. Typically, extracting and analyzing the strings present in a sample will only give an idea of what it is capable of. By using other static analysis and behavioral analysis tools, you will be able to fully comprehend and validate the extent of a sample's capabilities. I hope you have a good idea now about the valuable information that can be inferred from the strings present in an executable. Here is a project idea for you Retrieve two malware samples from your dataset. Extract the strings present along with its offset and examine them. What inferences can you make about the malicious sample? Use the sample's hash value to search on websites like VirusTotal and Joe's Sandbox for details about this sample's behavior. Does the information align with your inference? Make sure to document your findings. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!